Shout out to Jeff in Texas. Take two from Pop Pop. The other camera crashed. I did pray for your brother, for his heart. I wanted to make a heart-related video. I have to uh, be very careful so I don't get a strike on my channel for giving medical advice. I'm just telling you what I do. I have a kit with heart-related medicine and, and instruments ready to go if I need to go to the ER room. And, oh boy, the devil does not want this video to be made. So, in any case, I have a journal that tells all the medicines that I've taken and when I take them and the efficacy. That's very important so that you don't underdose or overdose your medicine because efficacy changes according to factors like if you're sick, if uh, you eat a poor diet, like sometimes I eat a lot of poor people food, or uh, how much you urinate. So efficacy, in my case, can be from three and a half hours on my meds to up to six or seven hours if I'm careful. So what I use to survive is I use a blood pressure cuff and I use two different brands, Omron, O-M, uh, O-M-R-O-N is a Cadillac of uh, blood pressure cuffs. They're like $60. These that... Uh, these that you all sent me, uh, Justin sent me one a little while ago. They're like 20 bucks on Amazon. They do a good job just as well. I always use two different cuffs by two different brands to make sure that the cuffs are telling me the truth and that there's no inaccuracy. If you get one that's way off, you just throw it out and get another one. So, I have my pulse oximeter. That tells me what my pulse is, how much oxygen I've got in my blood. Right now, I'm at 94% uh, saturation, which is good considering I'm not on oxygen and I'm making a video. You don't ever want it to go lower than 90%. If it goes lower than 90%, you can supplement with some oxygen or you can do some, try to do some yoga breathing to get your heart rate down and to get your uh, pulse ox up. This is a portable electrocardiogram. It's only $79. I don't like the ones that you have to use your cell phone with. This, you just put it in the crux of your hand, touch the other end with the other hand to complete the circuit, and it'll show you how your heart's beating and how fast it's beating. I like this because I can look at the screen and use it as biofeedback to firm my heartbeat up and to slow it down, the mind is an incredible uh, instrument. And if you discipline your mind, you can control a lot of, of things over your body without poisoning yourself with medicine. I've taken the same medicine for years and years without having to increase the dose and that's because I don't take it. I don't take it when it's not needed. If your blood pressure is low and you take your blood pressure early, medicine early, it causes, uh, it causes, uh, your body to, uh, try and bring the blood pressure back up. And you end up in a cycle, a loop cycle 
of just taking more and more medicine as your body is fighting it. So it's very important to chart the ebb and flow of your blood pressure, which changes um, all during the day so you don't have paradoxical hypertension. So I've noticed with me, for example, 11 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon are when the, is when the stuff hits the fan, and I have to be at my most alert to keep it under control. So I hope that helps. I'm not giving medical advice per se. I'm just letting you know what I've done to survive being the better part of a century old. And uh, I appreciate those of you that like and subscribe to my videos. You're the bread and butter of YouTube. And you're also, uh, you're also helping people that create content to stay on the tube and to create more for you. It doesn't cost you anything to just click on the like and subscribe and uh, to keep the YouTube thought police off our backs. I have an Amazon link and I have a PayPal link in the description if you want to help me out with some Halloween candy for the local kids or if you want to help me out with some badly needed old people piddle pads. Poppity Pops out.